Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to our No One Gets Out Alive series here in the Long Dark. We're currently exploring Bleak Inlet for the first time. Um, Alright, so I have a bunch to talk about. I've been doing a little bit of thinking since my last recording session. Huh, we've missed a candy bar here. Best be prepared for anything. A couple of extra calories. Um, so I'm going to get some temperature and then we'll step outside. It's currently fairly late. I'm wondering, you know, I think I'm going to risk just sleeping for an hour to get the temperature back quickly. We might be able to go do a little bit. Yeah, we could go get those cars, and I don't want to do that with this low energy. So let's just go ahead and risk it. Uh, double check to make sure I'm not missing anything. And if the weather holds, we had some really good weather at the end of last episode. Take advantage of this. Okay, so I think I can't go far tonight. Ooh, it did get worse. Negative 22. All right, uh, let's do some running then. I think, yeah, as long as I, oh, right, leave all of that there. Yeah, that's the problem with, um, Taking a one or two day break. Yeah, I definitely wanted to check in here in case um, there's a rope in here. There's like negative four inside the car, so I'm not really losing much when I'm inside. Um, I think my pry bar, yeah, I left my pry bar up there, unfortunately. All right, so we have one trunk to check. I mean, I doubt they'd put a rope in a trunk, but who knows. Might as well check it out at some point. Alright, and I already checked the other truck. I think I'll check in the back. Since it's so cold and windy. Um, okay, so that's searched. And this one is completely searched. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do much unless this wind dies down. Maybe go back and sleep for another hour, come back out here with the pry bar. Alright, while I'm making my way back, do a little bit of running just to make sure we don't mess up on temperature. Is there more meat? I think there's more meat that I dropped up here. I might have to drop this again. It's taking so long to get back. Alright, let's just make a pile here, take one piece to eat now, head in. Travel faster without all that weight. It's going to be ferrying it. Oh, this is interesting. We can get a little bit of a view. Oh, this could be really useful because I could see if there's a way, a safe way to go down there. It looks like I might be able to do it right there. I can figure out a way around. Although I'm really leaning heavy on this idea that they must intend for you to be able to find a rope. Sure, getting cold. I was really hoping it would be in one of those cars or trucks. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, sleep for one more hour. Just need more energy to go out there again, and I need the warmth. I have a lot of ideas floating around in my head. This mode really keeps you on your toes. Especially exploring a new region for the first time. Mm, it's an aurora. Um, let me see if I can find... Where is the wind coming from? There must be a warmer spot. Okay, so I seem to be sheltered here. Okay, so for the purposes of this conversation, I'm going to call uh, that direction out towards the coast south. And the direction up towards the entrance I came in north. So at that rock where I stopped and fought the wolves on the way in, in the first episode... It looked like there might have been another direction to head off in the west. I think I even mentioned that at the time. Um, I just headed towards the more promising direction, which was the downhill, wide open area where the wolves were. Um, but so we might... wasn't entirely clear. We might have something to search over there. Um, let's see. The... 
dead end just down the road here might not actually be a dead end, so I need to go... Is that what I can see just over there? It seems like the wind might be dying down. A little bit. Am I sheltered here? Don't seem to be. I might get some good weather. Oh no, that's just um, my route over. So the road is like over there. Let's take another look over here now that I have a little more time. I mean, they definitely don't intend you to get over that edge and there's a wall there, so it'll probably take some creative movement to get down there. But if I could get there, it looks like there's a route to kind of slide down that rock and get down there and then you could probably make it down. Only question is whether that terrain is actually walkable down there. I did notice that this stuff over here, like there's a big area that could just be water that's impassable. Um, and then once I have a good light source, I want to do another careful look all around here. All around the tower, all around the cave, because I believe, I was just thinking from a game design perspective, it doesn't make sense that they would send you in here, you'd explore like a tenth of the region, and then you'd discover that you need a rope, and then they send you and you have to go back out, back up the ravine, and then like over to another region, either Mystery Lake or Coastal Highway, and then you have to carry that five kilogram rope back across two regions and the transition you have to go down a rope climb with that heavy rope on you it just doesn't seem feasible that that's the intended solution to this problem all right let's finish getting warmed up um i can probably go ahead and eat this meat we have a lot of excess food on us now all these uh little things that i can eat um, we'll drink some water. We might need to make some more water. I think I left some in here. Let's grab the pry bar. I think I'll go out and check that tonight. Once we're warm, go check that trunk. Still not interactable here. Might get a chance later tonight. But we have some good light in here. Let's go ahead and do the once over on this structure now. Just make sure we didn't miss any rope. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. I did um, ask around. I didn't want to say too much because I really don't want to get any spoilers. But I asked some people specifically if there are death walls in this region. And it seemed that nobody was aware of any. And of course, usually if there's a major thing... Um, It'll get posted, like, um, with the ravine one and the, um, the black rock one. You know, you see posts from time to time about that. So I'm guessing, I would imagine that there are people who have tried to go down here before, and the fact that there's no reports of it leads me to believe that I'd probably be able to do it. Um, but one of the reasons, well, first of all, just because it can be done doesn't mean that I'll be able to find a route that doesn't result in my death or taking a lot of damage so that's obviously something i want to avoid all right we're warm let's head out uh where's the door here uh and i need to get rid of some weight let's just drop some stuff oh my goodness i forgot about all these books no wonder okay um i can keep yeah we don't need all these flares on us right now i'll keep two just in case um, taking the pry bar with me. Let's see. I'm still over, but not that much over. Yeah, we can get rid of some of these sticks as well. Um, just take a couple. Okay. This should be a short trip. lights down there as well. If I'm not too cold on the way back. I'll take another look over this uh, lip.
take some of this meat back this time. Let's see, is there a way? Yeah, there might be a way to get up in there. Okay, so as I was saying, um... One reason I don't want to try to go down is because of the risk that I won't be able to find a good route. The second reason is, it occurred to me that um, this tower here, or the Firewatch tower, um, might be Polaroid locations. And so if I leave this little um, outcropping that I'm currently on... Um, and then can't get back up here after I find a Polaroid. I might miss out on the opportunity to get a big portion of the map opened. Um, I feel like it would be really satisfying to get to do that. I mean, I could always find the other exit and loop back around. And eventually get it that way, but that wouldn't be nearly as satisfying. So that's another... Reason. So I have two compelling reasons to make absolutely certain that there's no rope before I proceed. Um, let's see, I don't actually need that meat right now. Just go inside. Okay, anything I want to do with the light in here? Just double check. Pretty sure I already used my pry bar on the lockers. Yeah, okay, so I think at this point, is this on? I thought I turned it on before. Yeah, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, there's just not a rope in here. Alright, so I think I'm going to declare this done. We have decided there's definitely not a rope in here, unless there's one up high somewhere. And then, um... I don't know what order I'll do these in, but tomorrow we're going to check the... Essentially the cave... And the fire tower. I don't think I need to go harvest any more meat off of those wolves. I really want to get moving and get out of here. So, um... Let me pick these sticks back up, now that we're not going anywhere tonight. I think I'll leave all the books here. Pick them up when I want to make a fire to make water or something, but... Ignore the glitchy textures. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and sleep for... Let's drink water and sleep for six. And since we're going to lose our light in here, let's go grab this water. I might need it in a minute. Sorry for the slow start here. Just wanted to get all my thoughts in order. And, uh... Okay, so the aurora is long since over. I'm going to try for a fire first thing in the morning. Let's go ahead and sleep for three more hours. Whoops. Bedroll is somewhere around here. Books. Oh, come on. How hard can it be to find? Okay. Three more hours should get me dawn. And unfortunately, we clearly have a blizzard. Um, I'm going to step outside just to verify that it's not just heavy winds. It kind of is. Just sleep for one more hour and then see. Not that I can sleep for any longer. Find a spot for the bedroll in the dark here. Sounds like the weather improved substantially. It's just not great, though. Alright, let's see what we got to work on. We got... Clothing. That ear wrap could use a repair soon. Um, nothing else really needs it. Um, Tools-wise, I've used a little bit of the hacksaw. Can throw one repair on the knife, it looks like. Sharpen it for 
Wind picked back up. It's no good. Um, we don't really need to be carrying this pry bar around everywhere. Let's go ahead and leave that. Over here again. junk. Alright, speaking of junk, um, I do not need to be carrying around all this emergency food now that I have so much of it. Oh, interestingly, we have another um, warming up buff here. I forgot about that. Alright, so let's drop both of those. Um, the candy bars are light. I'm happy to carry the rest of this. We're under capacity right now, so can't be doing too much wrong. Alright, let's see if it'll let me sleep for one more hour. I'm gonna save some of my thirst meter in case I need teas later. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's take a look. It's mid morning. I think we just have to go. Uh, let's pull a torch out. It is really cold. I don't think I even gained much by having a torch lit, so we're just going to go. Yeah, still got some meat there. I'm going to see if I can make it to the fire tower. Looks like there's no way I'll make it, but I'll start a fire along the way. I would love to just sit in the tower and wait for the afternoon, but we have to take the weather that the game gives us. Um, it's too cold to go check out that lower area. You know what? If I had put that wool ear wrap on and lit a torch, I might have been able to make this without needing a fire. Alright. I'm gonna have to start one here. Come on, give me a spot. Oh, I hate when this happens. I found the perfect spot where I'm sheltered, and now it won't let me do it. I'm just going to have to hope this is good enough. This isn't nearly as well protected. Let's do matches. Oh, this is miserable. Hands. Stick. Let's go for it. If I can get a piece of coal on here and some sticks. And get some teas heated up. We should be okay. <sighs> Probably going to lose condition here. It takes so long to do anything. Alright, let's see if I can get... I'm sheltered. Fire's good. Yeah, we're gonna lose a little bit. It's gonna take too long for this to heat up. Is it got you freezing? Yeah, the game is too picky about spots. That's a nice flat spot up against the wall. Let's see if we lost a significant amount. Yep, 66 down to 65. Just gonna continue to chip away at it. All right, um, let's make some water. Get something done here. I don't have any meat on me. I should have eaten before I left, but... Wouldn't be the end of the world to eat a couple of those candy bars or something if I need to. I'm not going to throw any more on this. Um, just past time. I don't really have anything else to do. Kind of want to get to later in the day anyway. There's like 11 right now. Let's 
Seems to be staying the same temperature. Okay, one more of these and we should be ready to go. Are you serious? Alright, well, we've got time to heat up some teas and go. I'm gonna go up to the fire tower. It shouldn't be that bad. Uh, let's put the last one down. Get them all heated in case I need them. Alright, let's drink some water. We need at least one tea, so I don't want to drink too much. Let's take another one up with me. I'm not going to be able to transport a fire up there, so... Who knows when the next time is I'll be able to... Let's see, carry weight-wise... Yeah, I'm going to be fine. I'm actually losing temperature now, because this thing is coming right in at me. Sure hope I can find this tower. I think I remember where it is. Um... I think I wait for this... Oh, I'm losing two bars now. That's no, okay. I'm going to drink one of these and get fully warmed up before we go anyway. So I should be able to wait this out until it finishes. Not going to get a torch. Okay. Um, I don't remember. It's not too far up here. Um, I think there's a little overlook spot. As long as I hug this right area. Okay, that's the secret path down. Temperature's dropping fast. This might be the overlook... Oh, no. This, this is the tower right here. Okay. Good thing I hugged the right. This would have been easy to miss in a blizzard. Okay. I don't think I need to run anymore. We'll be fine getting up there. My temperature should be more than sufficient in here. Oh, yeah. And this is the other reason that I wanted to come up to the tower. Um, I never really looked out properly from the very top. So, if the weather clears up while we're up here, which, you know, I'm going to need it to clear before we leave... Okay, so let's see. What about here? Is there a rope hiding under anything in here? Yeah, because see, I didn't do a really careful... What was that? Coat hanger? Um, I didn't do a really careful look over this, probably because I wasn't really um, thinking in terms of I absolutely need to find something. Because I have everything I need to survive. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's a rope here, unfortunately. Um, I guess we'll take a look outside when the blizzard is over, but I don't think that's going to give us anything. Alright. Um, so after this... Oh, look. A cooking pot. That's crazy. Yeah, things that you just don't look for. I mean, I've never seen something like that before. But you just got to keep your eyes open. Never seen a pot stored on the wall like that. And so you just kind of look over it because it's not something that you're trained to look for. What is this? No, that's just a wheel. <laughs> okay. Alright, I think we've... Unless there's something on the ceiling. I don't ever look up. Um, I think we've pretty much exhausted this place. There's nothing under the bed, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess we can sleep and try to wait this blizzard out. Not much else to do in here. Don't see any cloth to break down. I guess I could get a little bit of firewood from here, since I'm not doing anything else. Just go ahead and get that. I think we will just stay here until the storm blows over. There's no reason to start a fire. I don't have anything to cook. Alright. Sleep for just an hour at a time. Have to be ready to go at a moment's notice. This is probably one of my complaints about the balance of the game. Is that for a variety of 
reasons, it's often best to just sleep for one hour at a time. It takes a long time to do that. It's very tedious. Um, it'd be nice if there was a sleep until... option. I kind of understand why that doesn't exist, but... I feel like in real life, you'd be able to, um, most of the time, wake yourself up if something major happened, like a major change in weather, or, um, you know, hearing an animal or something like that. I think that would usually wake you up. All right, let's go ahead and uh, sleep again. I need to eat something soon. At least I'm able to use this time effectively for now. We're gonna have plenty of energy today, so I need to do a lot of running once the storm is over. Oh yeah, we're already fully rested and it's almost night. We're gonna, this is gonna be a busy night with all this energy I've got. One more hour of rest. Let's go ahead and eat uh, one of the... We'll eat the granola bar. Let's get rid of some of this stuff taking up space in here. I guess I can go um, see if there's any loot on the outside of this place. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's mean. Where do you come up? You come up from here. You go in here. If you don't see that little corner, or if you don't actually go out here, then you just miss that. Brutal level design. I mean, I guess, logically, you probably would walk out here because you want to see where everything is. Okay, well, let's take that. Um, I think... I'm not sure I can carry much more. Let's see, there's the rope tie-off point. Um, I think it only takes about 15 minutes to tie off a rope, so when the weather clears up, I should be able to go do that without a fire. And then maybe come back up here to warm up. Um, this negates the need- okay, so we definitely don't need to go check the cave now, because we've got our rope. Um, I'm thinking about... That area that I thought I saw up there, do I want to go check that before I climb down? I'm thinking probably not. Now that we have a rope, we can actually leave some of our gear up here. I was, um, thinking we might have to take all of our stuff and go down. Okay, this changes everything. Oh man, I'm so glad that I came back up here. Alright, let's go ahead and, um... Yeah, sleep for an hour. Um, I know it's kind of wasteful, but I just want to have a ton of energy. We're going to be climbing down, probably. I don't know, we might do that tonight. We just had a blizzard. We probably have... Yeah, we probably have like a good three to four hours now. Um, oh no, it's still really cold. No, wait, negative 13 is, counts as three down? Maybe because of the wind? If we can find a nice sheltered spot... I'm not opposed to just starting a fire either. Um, and I haven't lost much temperature coming down here so far. Let's take a nice shortcut here. Okay, here it's only negative eight. Yeah, so if I can get in the shelter, I believe I can tie this off without needing a fire. Um, yeah, I want to wait and see what this weather does before I actually spend the match. Okay, so I should be sheltered right here. Yes, give it to me. Yes. Okay. That worked. Alright, now... I can't really see anything over here. How far of a climb is this? Pretty far. And... No immediate idea. I want to wait for this weather to clear up so I know where I'm going. Uh, we also need to go back. We need to... Organize our gear. Figure out exactly what I'm taking with me. I still didn't check the, uh... The... 
road where I thought there was a dead end, but I wasn't sure. Alright, we're going to go past time up here to get warmed up. Then we'll head down to our main base and figure out our gear situation. Maybe I'll check the shortcut on the way if it's a lot warmer. That's really cold for this time of evening. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I record a little bit in advance because I wouldn't be surprised if somebody left a comment telling me that there was a rope there. I mean, I hardly could blame them. <laughs> Based on all the talk I did about how I might try to goat down and all of that. Um, it's sometimes hard to convince people that you really do not want spoilers. Now that pot, I'm thinking about that pot. Usually I don't carry one with me. Um, I think it might just stay here in case I need to come back up here. Yeah, I can't put an entire kilogram of my carry weight into that pot. All right, let's pass time until we're warm. Just until we're warm. And no longer. Oh, it looks nice out. Um, can I start a fire here? No. Let's go downstairs and see if I can start a fire for free. It might be a little bit too late, but yeah, we definitely have a clear sky. So I'd be happy to just carry a torch with me. If it'll let me. Maglin, stick, go, do it. Okay, got it just in time. As soon as the sun goes down, um, those horizontal rays of the sun go down. It's no longer considered daytime. Come on, little fire. So I saved myself a match that way. Let's go ahead and grab a torch and uh, let's see. We're going down here. Feels like negative eleven with the torch. I think that's probably with wind as well gonna be warmer when we're in shelter. Yeah. Negative seven. So let's try to get into shelter again up here. Make this trip a little easier. Oh, it was clear up there and I didn't look out. That was dumb. I have enough temperature. Let's just take a quick look over here. Yeah, it looks like Coast Mountain Road, and this is just kind of collapsed. Is that the implication? And it's just kind of weird that there's just a wall there. Yeah, that's what it looked like from a distance. There goes my torch. Um, and we're half temperature, so I gotta run. Now we have a long way to go. That's what I get for taking my time. Now we're not in wind, sh wind shelter anymore. I feel we get a little bit here. Come on, let me up. Okay, I think we're fine. Uh, we might do some cooking while we're waiting for this wind. I'm not going to take any more time to pick that up. we got some more up here. Oh, it's keeping me on my toes. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Alright. When and if this wind ends, I might get to go. So I think I'm definitely going to carry all of my buffs. Um, probably want all the cloth. I mean, we're probably only coming back up here if we need to refresh on arrow materials. So let's see how we're doing for arrows. Um, probably can just pull this out. Okay, so I've got a total of 19 arrows. Um, I know I need to eat soon. I'll get to that in just a second.
I'm going to say, for right now, my priority is to get down there, get a base established, get some food. I don't care if I have to climb back up here. Um, I'm willing to do that once I'm established. So none of this stuff, except for the cattails, really matters to me. And we're still doing decent on carry weight. What I can do is carry down some of that raw meat as well and drop it at the bottom of the rope. That way I can come back for it. I need it later. All right, let's go eat before I use my well-fed buff. That would be a disaster right now. Yeah. As soon as this wind clears, we're gonna have the perfect opportunity. Let's eat wolf meat. Actually, I need to eat both. And since I have the carry weight to spare, I think we will take this food. Um, I think the extra bow is worth it. I'll leave the arrows up here, or the, uh, the extra crafting materials. The bow is only 0.5 kilograms, and then I can just drop it somewhere. Okay, that's the wind going, so we need to make a decision and go. Um, oh, I've got a bunch of water on me. All right, let's top off on water completely. I'm going to leave at least one liter of water here. Um, the pry bar I want, because I don't want to climb up here just because I need a pry bar. Pry bar can also be dropped along with bow and the other meat and stuff. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, so I've got enough to carry, like, one piece of raw meat down the rope with me. Um. Okay, I got both cans and my bedroll. Um, time's a waste and let's go. It's cold. I've got raw meat. Um, we need to start a fire at some point. Oh, it's so cold. It's a little, little bit windy. I actually don't need to cook that meat. All right, let's do this. I'm going to um, waste a little bit of time trying to get the information that I desperately need here. Okay, so the rope climb is going to be over there. There's nothing for quite a ways. Let's go up to the top. I'm burning energy and daylight here. I don't think... I might be able to see something from here. Yeah, this is actually... a decent lookout. Okay, so there's definitely like a little village over there. So basically, before you get to the bridge, there's a village out there, and then there's the stuff out on the coast. So my target is that village. Okay, that's what I needed to know. I wish that I could devote more time to this, but I think at this point my best bet is go inside, get warmed up, and then we're gonna head over. The sun is setting. Yep. The sun is definitely setting. I'm not going to sleep. I just want to warm up slightly faster. I've got that one kilogram piece of meat on me. Uh, we're going to be just under once I have the bad roll. I can actually drop this water and carry one more piece of meat. So I'm going to grab another piece of meat when we leave. Let's double check that I'm not missing anything. Oh, torches. Okay, so I can carry all the meat and leave some torches behind. Um, okay. Axaw, hatchet, knife, pry bar. Those are all the sort of situational tools that I brought. I did drop a flare. Hmm. Alright, let's just pick this back up. Unfortunately, I can't see anything. 
I want that flare. How badly do I want it? Do I want it enough to waste a match? I think I do. We're going to need the fire anyway. And we can't start one. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is so stressful. I'm going to use the fire striker. No, I'm going to use a match. Fine. Where did I put that flare? In here? Uh-oh. Wait, I know I had an extra flare, didn't I? This is going to make me feel silly. Is it out here in the main area? Oh, there's all these books here. Is it? It might be, um... I might be caught up in all this stuff. This pack is getting kind of heavy. I think I did get it, actually. Yep, three flares now. Three red and one blue. Okay. Um... You know what? We'll take all these. I'm going to use these to make a fire outside. Let's go. I know I'm overweight, but we're not going to make it very far before we need the fire anyway. Oh, is that an Aurora? You know what? Does the Aurora affect Timberwolves? We're going to find out. I am so committed to this plan of action that it's probably going to get me killed. Forgot the meat, I think. I feel like I've been making a lot of little mistakes. Yep, I left all this meat on the ground. Alright, let's go over the plan. I'm gonna get a reasonable distance. We're gonna start a fire. Um... Heat up some teas. I'll burn all those books up. I'm trying to save my energy right now. Because I might need it. I'm going to use some on the rope climb. Um, then I'm going to get rid of most of my torches. I'm walking right into the wind. Let's see if I can get over... I'm just going to go over to this wall and start my fire. This wind is really... Oh, come on. Uh, whoops. That was not what I meant to do. <laughs> Trying to hit a different key. Alright. Um, I'll start my fire up here. We should be wind sheltered here. I have to do it now. And of course it won't let me do it again. Just anywhere. Okay. Um, sure. Fire striker. Just do it. Want it to be fast. Sorry, I know I'm a little uh, snappy. I just feel like oh, yeah. I'm under a lot of stress with this, and uh, the game is just not letting me do the stuff that I want to do. So, uh, it can get a little frustrating. Um, let's see. I'm not planning to start another fire. Oh, we need to warm up fast, though, so we're going to use the coal, regardless. I want a piece of coal to make this fast. Uh, we need to heat up all the teas. Um, no point in doing that until we're closer to ready to go. Let's see. I'm going to end up dropping all this water. We've got four pieces of meat. If one of them is relatively small... Oh, I can't eat it because I need to cook it first, and I don't have time to do that. Okay, so we're just taking all of those with us, as is... Okay. I have a second to sit here and um, consider the rest of my plan. So, current carry weight. We're going to be about 4 kilograms over with all the meat. I'm going to be able to lose 1, 2, 3, 4. I can drop all of these. I have 100% torches. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's. Um, Six is uh, 1.8 kilograms. Oh. 
I must have done some wrong math at some point. I think we're only going to be able to carry two or three of these. Alright, let's get the teas ready. Get up a coffee for good measure. I'm actually going to cook an extra reishi to replace that one that I used. You know what? Let's make, um... This. I'll go ahead and eat that for the warming up buff. Okay, so in nine minutes we'll leave. That'll save me some weight. Um, we'll drink water and drop the rest of it before we leave. Yeah, I've got those... Oh, I've only got the one 100% torch. I already started using the other one. Okay, so I'll probably keep the 50%. Even though I only really need that one torch. It's good to have two torches on you in case you need to throw a bunch down to protect from wolves. Alright. I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry a torch with me, actually. This wind. Okay. Uh, let's grab everything. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Gonna take that, and then I have to eat it from my inventory because it's ruined. Hopefully the warming up buff still works. Oh, we got it. I got a can from that, so I'm going to leave this other one here. Take all of these. Um, just take a torch, even though I don't need it. It's a lot of extra fuel. I'm sheltered here. We'll see. Okay, it looks like even when I walk out into the wind, it's holding up. I'm just looking at the episode timer. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely crazy that I'm doing this this far into an episode. I missed my turn. That's the dead end. I'm gonna grab these and drop the wolf meat. Okay. These are better. Assuming I got the large pieces. I don't have time to look now. Ah, there goes my torch. So I think given that. I'll go ahead and drink another hot drink um, when my temperature bar gets down to around 33%. Because I don't want to have to light a fire right away. Okay, we're going right past the tower. My energy bar is getting a little low. Wouldn't necessarily hurt to take a coffee. You don't really need it for the downward climb, but... No wind shelter along this path, unfortunately. Okay, there's the tower. The climb is just over here. Um, let's shelter behind this tree and drink something. Nope, I'm not sheltered. There I am. Come on. I'm just going to drink the reishi. We'll probably need another one soon enough. Okay, so the plan is... I'm just going to drop the water, because we're going to end up drinking something else. Drop the water, drop the torches. Get sheltered. Drop the water. Go in here. Drop the torches. Keep the 
Um, how are we doing? Weight-wise, we're at 46. Okay, you know what? Just drop that and one of the pieces of meat, and then let's go. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is stressful. Here we go. Uh, that ledge doesn't look like it does anything for me, so I'm just going to go straight down. Now, when we get down here... I've got enough food that I could just leave all the meat at the base of the rope and come back for it later. Definitely don't want to be pulling in any wolves or anything. I've got the flare gun. Here comes the heavy wind. I've also got flares. I never use flares. This is actually a good opportunity, possibly, to use them. Uh, let's pull the flare gun out for right now. Um, I'm not even going to look up there just because... Oh, there might be a cave up there or something there. Okay, can drink that right away. Get that warmth while it's still there. Okay, I bought myself some time. We got some lights over here. I hear footsteps. I can try to get in the shelter here. I don't think a wolf would be able to attack me from up there anyway. But I do hear footsteps. Yeah, they could come right down there, maybe. I'm going to make for the scary lights. Definitely gather up some extra fuel. Okay, timber wolves. Um, we're using a flare. I'm going to use a long-lasting one. I'll use it when they get close, just to make sure it lasts a long time. Oh, you know what? Are they Aurora timber wolves? Oh my goodness, this is bad. Okay, flare gun it is. We have to kill him, I think. Um, um, okay, we're in trouble. I knew it was a bad idea. Okay. Calm people live. I'm looking for shelter. Um, can I kill these wolves? I think this is the way towards the... There's probably um, cars on the bridge. I have another stem I can use if I need it. It looks like we have a house up here. Stay on the high ground. Cannery workers' residences. That's boarded up. Come on. Is this boarded up? Can I get in? <sighs> that is why we play this game. It, I have no words. Wow. What a fantastic experience. Okay, I need to sleep so I don't lose health. Uh, let's double check. Uh, no afflictions. Okay. Wow. I just need to take a second. That was amazing. Thank you, Hinterland, for creating this game. So, there are Aurora Timberwolves. Um, I did not know that. It doesn't surprise me, but they definitely exist, and they definitely are not scared off by a flare gun, which is great. Um, maybe if I had hit him, it could have scared him, but I was, um, I was mainly going for the let's get the scare off. Um, so I wasn't really trying to aim carefully. Um, I'm going to loot this place up in the next episode. 
Um, I think I'll use the save. We haven't really done anything since I woke up from that hour of sleep. So I'll just use that save um, for the next time. I could step out in the end or sleep for another hour, but I don't really see the need. This is great. I really like the fact that you can turn this on and listen to some light Bach just to uh, just to soothe the nerves after an experience like that. All right. Well, thank you everyone for being here with me. Um, I had a great time this episode. I hope you did too. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.